wind came from. Unbelievable. Well, hello. Oh, there isn't a puff of air, which is brilliant. Um, I'm on my way up Temple Hill, near the Galtees, um, to do a wild camp. I'm, I came a bit later than I wanted to, uh, got delayed. So I'm hoping, it's three o'clock now, I'm hoping to get up there before sunset at five. Not sure if we're gonna get a sunset, but Oh, it's just nice to be out. I'm kind of laughing. The full country reopens again. And I'm going on my own to the top of the mountain. <laughs> oh yeah. That's what I love. But anyway, up Temple Hill. And set up camp, have some lovely steaks. And just chill out for the night. And hopefully we get a sunset and hopefully we'll get a sunrise. But they'll be just bonuses. It's just being up the mountains now at this stage is gonna be, uh, it's all I want. So yeah. Anyway, let's see what adventures we can get up to. Welcome aboard. <laughs> Temple Hill, that's where I'm going today. Can see a few people up there already. A nice steep hike ahead of me. Uh, Temple Hill is 785 meters. It's a steep hike up to it. I did it for the first time there, was it two weeks ago? But, um, There's a load, there's a big stone structure on top of Temple Hill. And they say, there's two stories, this, the, the stone structure is like a, a tomb or a cairn um, dedicated to the burial ground for chieftains. And then the other one, it's a, a, Druid, a Druidic monument that um, they used to worship the sun gods from it. So, hence Temple Hill. So, this is gonna be a sweat. I'm gonna go up to the top and see how, um, how windy it is, but you can come down a small bit and there's like a, uh, I don't wanna call it the hag's toot because that's in Karen Tool. We'll call it temple toot. You can use that now. Uh, there's a nice little flat surface there right near the very top, so that might be an option. So, let's go up and see and hopefully get a bit of a sunrise in the morning. If not, we don't. So be it. I'm just hungry now and I have steaks. So I'm gonna go forward to eating them. <laughs> oh, Temple Hill is a slug. But it's not that far, but it's straight up. Camera probably doesn't do it justice, but. Okay, we'll keep going.
So, my plan. I think I found my spot. It's Temple Hill right there. There's a bit of a wind there. And it's, I know it's supposed to slightly pick up later on, but it's a freezing breeze. So, I'm right. Look at that for a view for tonight. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. And then I have the Temple too, we'll call it. I have that, the wind is actually coming this way, so I'm fully blocked. <sighs> so I'm in a lovely bowl, which is gonna be really nice. Okay, I found my sleeping spot. <laughs> Happy days. Right, I'm gonna get pitching and uh, it'll be dark and it's going dark in about 20 minutes. So let's get after it. set up it's so calm right here right up there there is a freezing cold uh, wind that's just coming straight here so I picked the perfect spot for tonight I'm just covered from every angle which is absolutely perfect <sighs> right I am starving so I'm gonna get some warm clothes on because I kept on moving so I'm hot so so hot. <laughs> um, right, I am going to get set up for food. Man, I'm starving. How cool is this? It weighs less than a hundred grams. And it's a seat. Unbelievable the stuff they can make. So my arse won't be cold. Nice.
Yummy. Nice. This steak is beautiful. Sorry, vegans. Ah, I'm looking over. I can see Limerick in the distance. Looking over Anglesborough and just dotted farms everywhere. It's just a freezing night, but absolutely beautiful. Okay. Oh yeah, I'm gonna get tucked into this. It's absolutely bitter out. So cold. So I'm after eating now, just getting in. Oh, I'm gonna watch a movie and tuck into bed. That's what I'm gonna do. Lovely evening. It's so calm out. Freezing though. Okay, let's get ready and warm warm up my toes. I have no idea where this wind came from. I suppose where I encamped I'm right in the gully. So yeah. Sure. The tent is holding up well, so the joys of camping. It's supposed to die off in a while, but oh my god. Man. I don't think we're gonna get any kind of a sunrise in this, um, so. Yeah, I might suit up and uh, head down. <laughs> Jesus. Packing everything now. I do have to get the tent down, which is going to be exciting. <laughs> Make our way back down. It's, uh, it's way too dangerous. Exciting, though. Okay, let's make tracks. God, nearly back at the car. Just shows that uh, not every hike goes to plan, but you just gotta go with the, go with the flow and roll with the punches, isn't it? Um, just listen to the weather and see where you get. Anyway, um, it's really exciting with the, the full country opening up, up again. Um, after two years, and we're finally nearly back to 99% of what it, what it used to be like. It's such a weird feeling. But um, I just wanted to say, um, for a lot of people, I'd say a lot of um, social anxiety has built up over, over the full lockdowns and, and whatnot. And there'll probably, be, there'll probably be a lot of people hurting now and frightened of the thought of going back to full whack again. So just reach out to someone and don't push if someone doesn't want to go out somewhere or something like that. You don't know what people are going through. Um, so yeah, it's just a, a strange times, but I think through the pandemic and everything, regardless of the actual virus itself, mental health has taken a massive dive for a lot of people. So anyway, look, that's just my two cents. But look, if you, uh, I always say we can't help everyone, but everyone can help someone. So if you see someone in need, reach out. Like it, it just takes a friendly face, you know? Um, and just don't uh, don't push someone to go somewhere if they don't want to go you know there's, there's a reason why they don't so it'll take time for a lot of people to get back uh, to normal again so look that's just my little two cent so thanks everyone for uh, joining me on another adventure 
not the adventure that we wanted but an adventure nonetheless so please hit the subscribe button ring the little bell and uh well until next time stay safe out there and stay safe out in the mountain